Hello everyone. Have you brushed your teeth and combed your hair? Are you in your pajamas ready for bed? Are the curtains drawn and blankets tucked tight? Are you ready to sleep and say good night? But before you go into your dream ride, here's a story for you tonight. Tonight I got get you a very special story. It's about Elmo the elephant. Elmo the elephant is a patchwork elephant. He has got he's not like any other elephant. He has got lots of colors on his body. The other elephants are all gray and same color. But uh, but Elmo is a patchwork elephant just like this. Yes. And with him you see Wilbur. So today's story is about Elmo and Wilbur. Let me tell you a little bit more about Wilbur. Wilbur is Elmo's cousin and he is a ventriloquist. Do you know what is a ventriloquist? A ventriloquist is somebody who can make different different voices come out of his mouth without really moving his lips. Hmm. And do you know what? There are lots of shows of ventriloquists. They use a puppet in their hand. Yes. And you know what? When they are talking, you feel as if the puppet is talking because they are not moving their lips. Have you tried talking without moving your lips? I did, and this is how it sounded. Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? But I haven't practiced. so my voice is not very clear but ventriloquists they practice a lot so their voice is very clear and you can understand everything they are saying and they can actually change their voice too that must be fun isn't it so do watch a ventriloquist show if you can okay now back to our story so today's story is elma and wilbur by david mckee elma The patchwork elephant was waiting for his cousin Wilbur who was coming to visit him. He's late, said Elmo. Perhaps he's lost. Let's go and look for him. Hmm. Wilbur is late and Elmo is getting very worried. I hope he's not lost. What does Wilbur look like? asked an elephant. Wait and see, chuckled Elmo. But be careful Wilbur likes to play tricks especially with his voice he's a ventriloquist he can make his voice sound as if it's coming from a different place to where he is from anywhere this is fun said an elephant they as they started to search it's like hide and seek hmm Let's see if it's going to be fun or not. Suddenly, they heard "Yoo-hoo, Elmo, I'm over here." They rushed to where the voice came from. "Looking for me?" asked a rather surprised tiger. "Sorry," said Elmo. "We thought you were my cousin." Very funny, Elma," said the tiger. "Perhaps that's your cousin. I can I can hear shouting. Oh my God! Don't think the tiger liked it. Don't think he likes being called the elephant's cousin. Mm. Help!" called the voice. "Help! I'm falling in the pond. He has he has. I can see him," said an elephant. "Silly." said Elma that's your reflection keep looking he's near but not where his voice is my god funny elephant seeing his own reflection and thinking that actually wilbur's fallen in the water funny they kept looking and all the time they looked the voice came from a different place it called or woo to make them jump funny wilbur 
it even came from down a rabbit hole. The rabbits popped out saying, that's not funny, that's not funny at all, that's very silly. Poor little rabbits, I would be a little upset too if I was scared out of my house. After a lot of searching, an elephant said, ah, we will never find him. Elmer, let's give in. Wilbur, called Elmer, we give in. You can come out now. I can't. I'm stuck up a tree. Wilbur's voice said from above them. Stuck up a tree? An elephant? Mm. Do you believe him? I don't. The elephants giggled. He's very clever, said one. See, the elephants don't believe him either. If you don't come, said Elmer, we will have to go home without you. I really am stuck up a tree, said Elmer's voice. The elephant giggled again. I would giggle too. I think that joke has become a little old now. I think Wilbur should try something new. Elmer, said an elephant, is Wilbur black and white? Yes. Why? said Elmer. I peeped, said the elephant. He really is stuck up a tree. Really? An elephant stuck up a tree? I would like to see that. They all looked. There was Wilbur up a tree. Wilbur? gasped Elmer. How did you get up there? Never mind how I got up. How do I get down? said Wilbur. I have no idea, said Elmer. But we are hungry, so we are going to go home for tea. At least we know where you are now. Goodbye, Wilbur. See you tomorrow. Really? Is Elmer going to do that? With that, Elmer started to lead the other elephants away. Oh, Elmer! called Wilbur. Don't leave me. I'm starving. Ha <laughs> ha I was just teasing, laughed Elmer, turning back to Wilbur. If you walk along the branch, it will bend down with your weight and we can help you down. Wilbur walked slowly along the branch. The branch began to bend down. When the elephants came, uh, could reach, they pulled the branch rest of the way and helped Wilbur off. <sighs> My God, that must have been a task. Thanks, said Wilbur. Now where's that tea you were talking about? They then, laughing and joking together, they, they all raced all the way home. That night, as they lay down to sleep, Elmer said, Good night, Wilbur. Good night, Moon. A voice that seemed to come from the moon said, Good night, elephants. Sweet dreams. Elmer smiled and whispered, Wilbur, how did you get up that tree? But Wilbur was already asleep. I'm sure he must have been really tired. He was sitting up on that tree for almost the entire day. Now he's gone off to sleep and it's time for you to sleep too. I think Elmer and all of us will have to find out next time how did he get up on that tree. With that, good night, switch off the lights, don't get into any pillow fights. <laughs>